Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. If someone has put milk in your water in Zelda Breath of the Wild in Simu, let me show you how you can fix that. So straight away, open up your Simu folder. Then you're going to go to Game Profiles and we're going to look for Breath of the Wild. So C9400 is US, uh, C9500 is Europe. I'm playing on the US version of the game, so let's open up the profile. We're simply going to change where it says Disable GPU Fence to False. If you're on the European version, do the same. Click Save. Okay, now you can close that. Now, if you use FPS++, go to Graphic Packs and go down to FPS++. Now, I'm playing on version 1.4.1, and if you play on 1.4.0 as well, this will work. Now, basically, find your game version in the patches file. It's at the bottom. Uh, where is it here we go so v176 v192 scroll down to where it says break all forms of frame limiting and on the first line you're going to add a semicolon okay so when you add a semicolon click file click save now exit out of this and what we're going to do is we're going to load the game okay now, the concept here is simple. We want to make the fence skip option manual and not automatic. As you can see in options, we can't click it yet. So load your game and then if it's ticked, make sure that you untick it. Once in the game, make sure that fence skip is unticked. Now load your save. The next step is to manually activate fence skip. There are two ways that we can do this. We can press control plus F or we can simply go to options and tick GX2 fence skip. Now, one of the obvious ways to test if this works is as you can see, we're currently a bit locked with the frame rate. What we should do is we should naturally see a boost. Okay, so let's turn it on manually. And uh, there you go. Now we have manual, manual fence skip. Now there are a few caveats to this. After speaking with multiple community members, as well as the creator of FPS++, as well as graphic pack contributors, this is not actually a complete fix. And as far as everyone has said, there actually isn't a complete fix for the milky water. It's a bit random. So the common belief is that disabling fence skip is the easiest way to overcome most of the milky water issues, but not all of them. So if you do still experience milky water in some instances, don't be surprised, um, that's completely normal. But the best solution we have so far is the manual disabling and enabling of fence skip. So there we go, hopefully we can solve your milky water woes. If this video was helpful, thumbs up. If it wasn't, thumbs down. And if you want to see more content from me, remember to subscribe.